Hey, what is going on guys? I'm CK and welcome back to Everything Overwatch League and today some big, big news just dropped. So if you're new here, I do content daily. I love the Overwatch League. I love making these videos for you guys. So be sure to subscribe if you just can't get enough of the Overwatch League and you want your daily fix. This is the channel for you. Be sure to subscribe. But without further ado, let's get into the news because this is huge. Gambler is joining the Seoul Dynasty and if you don't know who Gambler is, he used to play on a Korean team that competed in Apex called LW Blue with a lot of for, of his former teammates are actually on NYXL now and Gambler is known for being a fantastic support player in particular Mercy and Lucio and you might be confused because Seoul Dynasty already have two world class supports in Jae Hong and Toby. Well, the big thing that it, this actually opens up for the Dynasty is they now have 12 players, which means they can do in-house scrims, they can do 6-on-6 six six within their own team, because they now have 4 DPS players, 4 different supports, 2 main tanks, and 2 off tanks, which is a really big thing for the Dynasty, because it means they don't have to practice against other teams, and all of their players can now play in scrims, so that's that actually makes a huge difference. Now, Gambler is actually known for being a fantastic Mercy player, um, and it's just a shame because Mercy's not as prevalent in the meta as she, were, as she was in Stage 1, and he's also a good Lucio, but Toby is quite possibly the best Lucio in the world, so... Um, I'd, I'd love to see some playtime from Gambler, and I think he's an incredibly individually talented player, but I'm not sure how much he's actually going to be playing in real matches, at least for a while anyway. But this was actually a perfect pickup for Seoul Dynasty. They were looking for a fourth support player to be able to do in-house scrims with because they always had that 11-man roster and they needed a support player if they wanted to be able to do in-house scrims. And Gambler is the perfect fit. He's definitely one of the best supports in the world that isn't already in the Overwatch League and from Seoul knows a lot of these players well. It's just such a great fit for the Dynasty. Now, speaking of the Seoul Dynasty, it was actually Toby and Miro's birthday today, and there was actually this ad found in a Seoul subway station for them, wishing them a happy birthday. So that's a really heartwarming story. Happy birthday to Toby and Miro. Now, next a story about the Overwatch League itself. Stage 2, Week 1, was the first time ever that the Overwatch League has recorded more concurrent viewers on Twitch than the NALCS, the North American League Championship Series, which is a huge achievement, actually, because NALCS is, is a big thing. It's a big event, and um, for the Overwatch League to beat that, uh, it's just amazing. It's really good, and... Stage 2 viewership has actually been a lot higher than Stage 1, I've noticed. I don't know if it's the Twitch changes or if it's just everything. It's all the changes to Stage 2. It's just been great. Like, viewership has actually been kind of 50,000 higher than it was in Stage 1 on an average concurrently. I, I'm pretty sure it was only around 100,000 in Stage 1 on Twitch. So, great news for the Overwatch League. Now, just some quick news. You obviously all knew that Fact Fiction had joined the Houston Outlaws, but it actually wasn't Overwatch League approved until now, until today. Um, so he's officially on the Houston Outlaws, and I don't know if he couldn't play matches last week or not because it wasn't officially approved, but now it is, so hopefully we get to see him soon. And now some very important news. The Philadelphia Fusion welcomed a new chef to their family today, which is a huge improvement on what Shadowburn and Joe, Joe Meister had been cooking up in the past. Uh, so great news for the Philadelphia Fusion, I guess. And the last bit of news for today, guys, is that the San Francisco Shock Academy team was officially announced today. Uh, it's just the same as the leaked roster that we found about in the past, which is Rob420, Farzix, Smex, Butcher, Stratus, and Damien. But they are actually going to be moving into a team house in Washington, D.C., which is really interesting. Well guys, that is all the news for today. I know it was a short and sharp video. The big news, of course, is Soul Dynasty welcoming Gambler. That is very, very exciting. But thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys again tomorrow for some type of video. Um, be sure to subscribe if you're new here. I do content daily. 
You can also follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. The links to those are in the description. Thank you so much for watching once again. I hope you're spending time with people that you love. I hope you're enjoying life and I hope you're doing things that you love. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you guys again tomorrow.